In this video, I am going to show you how to separate addresses uh, in your database if they are in one column and they are all on one line. First, double check if it's really the case. Click on any cell and take a look at the formula bar. You see that indeed this database actually has all the records in um, one column on one cell in each uh, on one line in each cell. Okay, I suggest that you don't work in your original spreadsheet. Create a copy of it and make your changes there. To do that, right click the tab, choose move a copy, check create a copy, and um, this will place a copy of the spreadsheet before datasheet. Let's call it original and leave it alone. I'm going into data and the first thing I will do is uh, move the name of the state and the zip code from column N into column O. For that I will use a formula. Here's the formula. It will read the right nine digits from column N and it will display it in column O. Let me type it out for you. Now you see that there is a formula in cell O2. You can see it in the formula bar. I'm going to grab the right bottom handle of the cell and drag the formula all the way down. Now uh, some of the cells are inconsistent. Like for instance in this row uh, there is zip code that has not five digits but nine digits. And probably there are a number of those in this database. So I'm going to sort the database to bring them all together so it's easier for me to type TN where it needs to be. Before I do that though, I need to get rid of the formula in this column. I will select the column, right click, copy, right click again and choose paste special values. That uh, essentially wipes out all the formulas. Now there is only data as you can see in the formula bar in uh, this column. Now I'm going to select all the rows starting from the bottom all the way to the top. Go data, sort, uncheck this box that says my data has headers and choose column O and click OK. So now you see that number of cells where TN, uh, the state name, is missing are all together and it's easier to do manual work. This is done and now I want to clean up column O even more. Some, I would say majority of the entries in column O have space before TN. I want to get rid of that. I'm going to select column O and choose find and replace function. Just like this, control H. That opens up a dialog box, find and replace. So you type space tn in find what box and replace with simply tn without any spaces. Click replace all and Excel made 456 replacements. Now I can close this dialog box and proceed separating tn from the zip code. Let me sort this database again because uh, at the very top I have some records, they don't have any addresses. Some orders don't have any addresses. So I'm going to sort database by some other column, like for instance N, to uh, force the records to start with not blank cells but something. So I'm selecting column O and this is only to um, help you see what's really is going on in the next step. I'm selecting column O, go in data, text to columns. Now you can see um, in the box below that there is a preview of your selected data. Um, you can do it either way, either delimited or fixed width. Let's say fixed width and click next and it gives you option of where to put the separator. And we really don't care, we just need TN to be separated and we are quite fine if in the next column to it the zip codes will be either five digit 
or nine digit and we we'll click finish now your zip codes and your state name uh, names are separated so let's save that and the next step would be getting rid of um, state name and zip code in column n select that column and uh, do control h again i'm going to type space tn star in find what box star means any digits any number of digits after tn and i'm going to replace it with nothing essentially remove it i click replace all and all the replacements are done i'm clicking ok closing this dialog box saving my file and now next step is to separate the um, city name from column n into a separate column i need to create space for that so i'm going to insert a column before column o i select column o and click insert here's my space now i am going to scroll all the way to the top to start typing the city names in column o juliet see what just happened excel uh, 2013 reads the algorithm it can uh, quote unquote predict what you're planning to do so it reads the last word from column n from each cell into column o to accept that um, suggestion excel is making i'm going to push enter and all my towns are in column o many of them are mount juliet and mt is missing from the name so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select column O and replace uh, Ma Juliet with Mount Juliet. I'm going to do control H again and type Mount Juliet at the bottom and just Juliet in find what and click replace all and uh, around 300 replacements have been done i am closing uh, this dialog box saving my file and next step would be is um, to get rid of all their uh, city names from column n i'd like to see um, my city names uh, in abc order in column o so i'm going to sort the database i'm going to select all the rows again all the rows containing the arm um, information and click data sort and choose column O. and this is um, because i just want it to um, be convenient because now i see all the uh, city names uh, that are repeated all um, together. I don't have to scroll back and forth trying to find if I am replacing everything that I want to replace. So I am going to choose Control H again, which is find and replace function. Oops, made a mistake. And I am going to um, replace the first city. So I typed Franklin and I'm replacing it with nothing. Excel tells me that there were seven replacements. I'm suspecting that actually some of the cells had um, that name in their street name because in column O I see just one entry. And that's exactly why I keep I kept um, the original spreadsheet intact because I can double check by uh, using the uh, order ID to see where the address looks really funny like uh, there is number but there is no um, the name of the street per se so let me show you um, 
how you can replace the rest of them and how it looks. I'm going to type the name of the next city now. So you see I typed Galatin, I am replacing that. There are only two replacements. I'm going to click replace all again. There are six replacements. Now I'm going to proceed to the next city and click replace all, three replacements and the next replace all again. Very many replacements in one click. And the next city, I'm clicking replace all again and there are around 300 replacements in just one click. I know for sure that some entries have um, the name of the city listed not as uh, MT Juliet but as Mount Juliet. So I'm going to make that replacement as well. And I'm clicking replace all and sure enough there are six replacements. I'm clicking OK. I scroll down and the only city to replace other than Mount Juliet is a water town. So I'm going to replace that as well. Just one replacement. Okay, so that work is done. Now what I'm going to do is actually eyeball my, eyeball my database to see where uh, are instances like this one in row 418 where I don't have any um, road name actually because uh, some of the street addresses, some of the street names have name of city in them. And here's how I'm going to find what it really was. I'm going to copy the uh, order ID, that's what it is in this cell. Go to original spreadsheet, select column F where it actually resides. Hold control and push F to find the, uh, the order number. Okay, let's do uh, control V to paste this and click find all and it's the only record and sure enough there is a Lebanon road in um, their street name. So uh, you do that for every single cell where you will find that your um, data is lost and you just type the name um, of the street in there by hand. There's no way to put all of these together because no matter how you sort, um, it will still be by number. So you really have to eyeball your database. Other than that, um, your separation is ready. So that double checking is your last step. All you have to do now is to give names to your columns. Here it is, your database is ready and whatever columns you don't need for your mail merge to create labels for your mailing, like for instance, uh, this company will do for their photography clients, then um, it's all done. You've done a great job and thank you for watching this. Come back and watch more of my videos because you can always learn more tricks in Excel that will help you do your work much, much faster.